Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we're going to be playing some Mardu Black, Red, White, aggro -y mid range in Historic. We're going to be playing some best of one today. I do have a sideboard available if you are interested in taking this to the best of three ladder. Um, but today, just want to kind of jam some best of one games, see how it goes. Um, so kind of what I wanted to do with this deck is build a deck around two very good aggressive creatures. So we have a Dono Vanguard, which you can pay life to make indestructible. Um, very good in aggressive shells, especially because you have a lot of Jeskai and is it going around? That's burn-based removal. And Dreadhorde Butcher, that gets bigger every time it deals damage. It's a hasty threat. I was also thinking of bringing it back with like a one of Colgan command. And really the interaction I wanted to take advantage of was these two creatures with Showdown of the Skulls. Gives us card advantage and then you put counters on it. Counters work really well with Dreadhorde Butcher that when it dies, it deals damage to your opponent. Um, to round out the deck, basically we're playing discard a uh, split of three and three of inquisition of kozilek thoughtseize to attack your opponent's hand we have knight of even legion another really good aggressive creature that can scale late game um, we have removal in fatal push and lightning helix that can also be put towards the face uh, gain us some life in the creature mirrors then we have bone crusher just very versatile creature removal burn all in one and then elite spell binder as a way to tax and hit at our opponent's hands um, so it's pretty much the deck, the sideboard if you're interested. We have Heartless Axe for like the Velomachus matchup, or aggro matchup, stuff like that. Roiling Vortex versus Control Combo, Gold Plank when we need Hand Hate, uh, Noxious Grasp Fry Split for um, some creature decks, but also Turns deck because it's so popular. Then Fractures, General Removal, Vanishing Verse, Kaya for Graveyard Hate, as well as Bane Slayer Angel. Um, between Gold Plank and Kaya, you can have your graveyard hate, Bane Slayers for more of like the gruel style matchups. So I think I'm like towards the bottom of Diamond. Let's play some historic ranked. Play some Mardu Aggro. So I'll get back into the spin of things. Been a little bit busy. Um, just started a new job, so haven't been doing as many videos from when historic anthologies dropped. But uh, let me know do you, if you're enjoying these more games of best of one versus fewer games of best of three and we can take it from there um, this time's fine a little awkward we don't have a duel on one that we can't lightning helix but i think going night night into lightning helix is fine and then we have showdown to refill our hand So like to me the draw best of one is we get to play more games, demo the deck in a lot more variety as well as frankly right now best of one is a bit more diverse at least from what I've run into. Um, so this could be Jeskai. I think we're... Hmm. It's an interesting. I can do this. This is more mana efficient. The next turn, I can hold up Helix and play that. So I think we do that. We still don't know what they're on. So Jeskai. But with the Pathways is interesting. Ooh, Adanto is very good here. So I think... I think given the way they've set up their hand, they could be on Clarion. So get the Helix out of the way. To me, that suggests they don't have a Sweeper on three. So we can go Knight of Even Legion here. Uh, you know what? I should have paid for life here to put a counter on it. That was a mistake on my end, because that gets it around Prismari command. Uh, wanted a land there. Let's see what they do here. We'll let them react. There's no point of us pumping the knight here. Mm. I think we just passed the turn. This is potentially going to get them to react.
If we did this last turn, then we could have played out Bone Crusher. Sure. here okay so i think they're just from a budget constraint playing the pathways as opposed to like tap lines stuff like that it's an easy decision right here They combo or they control with rip apart. We do have an opening for showdown to come down. Solve the equation, so they're probably combo. Okay, another Danto. Do this. If they wrath, it's fine. Still have six power on board plus this helix. Cool. Easy game. So we made a little bit of a misplay, but this is a really good demonstration of why Danto Vanguard is so good in this format right now. Just bully on your opponent. And the nice thing is we have ways to gain life in like lightning helix that allows us to offset some of those uh, like hitting yourself for four, hitting yourself for four. Playing against King Leonides. Luris deck. I think we keep. So if we draw red source, then what we'll do is go Adanto this turn. Next turn they play Core Spirit Dancer. This matchup could be a bit tricky. Thought sees them here. Let's get rid of Aether Tunnel. So next turn they put Luris to hand. It's actually a pretty good draw here because now I can play another thread out. while still holding up the second stomp. I think we just let this resolve. I want an answer to Luris. That's a bit annoying. Okay, double helix is nice here. I think we just like chip in three here.
Obviously, had we known we would have drawn Scalds, we would have done it differently. Let's take a Luris. It's probably core here. Untap Lined gets it for us. It's a free attack for them. Terrible. So let's start with this. Put a counter here. Get rid of that. And then I think we're just doing this this forces the block boom and that's basically exactly what we want to do there disrupt your opponent's hand pick at the like get a really sticky thread on the board our creatures are also removal. You have showdown to refill. We drew five there. Run this one more. See how it plays out. You hub. I've really actually been enjoying best of one this season. I've been primarily playing on this ladder. Easy keep. Kahira's likely control. Uh, Dreadhorde butcher. This, get rid of the removal early. Dreadhorde Butcher hopefully goes unchecked. And then we have Showdown to pump it up even further. And this is what I like. You have this to clear up the way for your two drops. Actually, what I wanted to check was, can we play Jingantha? I think we can. Yeah, we can. So we should be playing Jingantha. Normally this would kill our Dreadhorde, but now unless they get extremely like lucky on their top deck. Let's see what's happening here. So they could Prismari. I think we just do this. Like, they have the Wrath of God, we're expecting that on turn four, but we can refill our hand here. Ooh, Adonto's nice as well. So actually, what I'm going to do here... I kind of want this to die. I can just go face... I think we're just going face. This might be wrong, but I figure with this board state, they need to wrath this turn. Because if they don't, this just keeps getting bigger. Like they could lightning helix my Knight of Even Legion. But then I show down. We don't draw cards in our deck, so I don't care about passive. If 
perfect. So let's do this. Um, so shark type foons a repeated blocker. This does give them the, so this gains them life. I guess shark would just still trade, so maybe that was wrong. But shark blocks Dreadhorde Butcher. to chunk this up a bit. Okay, so they have to fairy that can tuck the following turn. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. So here I do this, I can take out whatever they don't use. So they have to use the helix here, or they're dead. So in the end, that's not taking the Shark Typhoon, if we were to take Helix. Okay, Memory buys them a turn, but not really, because I just play this out, put a counter on Dreadhorde, and then we have two lethal attackers. Bye, friend. Easy three out. So yeah, that's the deck. We took down a couple control players there and just did a really nice job disrupting our opponent's game plan. We took down auras. Um, doing a quick double check. I don't think there's anything in the deck that get rid of Bane Slayer and play Jengantha. Companion. Why can I never spell that? Yep. So the deck's fully legal with that. Um, one thing, to be honest, we might want to just cut Coligan's command for a fourth showdown. We saw that game, how impactful showdown is at just refilling our hand. Um, so really that would be probably where I would go. Um, just take maximum value, refill our hands, and kind of go from there. But that's the deck. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this in potentially best of three, do let me know as well. Uh, but I always appreciate the support, and have a great one. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.